Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have this wonderful little box of goodies here from Sephora to share with you. I have a big Sephora haul that I wanted to share the things that I got. So it's a nice little combination of some new products that I haven't tried yet, and also some oldies but goodies that I was just restocking on things that I needed. I think what I'll do is start out with the new products that I haven't tried yet, and then kind of go into some of the old restocking things and just give my two cents on that. So before we hop into the haul, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching this video and for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. So let's go ahead and jump right into the Sephora haul. So the first set of products I want to share, I went so crazy for this recent launch at Sephora. I think I bought like literally five different things from the Gizu line that just launched at Sephora for the first time. I'm so excited for this as I have been following her and her brand for a long time and so I'm excited to finally get my hands on this and so this is the first thing that I have not tried yet this is the Gizu honey infused hair mask and I'm very excited to try this out because my hair does tend to lean more on like the dry side so a lot of these products have been advertised as helping for dry hair or just like helping with frizziness and things like that so the benefits of this hair mask it's says that it is formulated to hydrate and replenish the hair while improving its elasticity, shine, and manageability. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out and I think I might actually try it out this weekend because I'm due to wash my hair probably tonight so maybe I will use this in place of my normal treatment just to see how it goes and then use some of the other Gizu products with it. Next product up from the Gizu line is this little spray here and this spray is the Gizu Propolis Infused Heat Protect spray so I didn't have like a heat protecting spray that I was super super in love with um, I do use the Olaplex from here and I do like that but I'm like you know always looking to try different things out and so I'm really excited to try this out for the first time basically for this it's just supposed to protect your hair from heat damage it says that it helps with blow drying styling tools and the Sun the key ingredient in I think most of the Gizu products is actually the um, propolis from the bee garden that her family owns and so it has a lot of vitamins oils minerals and all kinds of good stuff so yeah i am super excited to try out this heat protecting spray from gizu all right the next gizu thing up that i got was this little spray here and this is the gizu propolis infused texturizing wave spray so before this i have been using the way the brand ways wave spray and I do like it however I find that it kind of leaves my hair a little bit crunchy sometimes and I'm not really crazy about that so I got this because I wanted to try out see how it is with my hair texture because I do have naturally like wavy hair so with this wave spray it says it creates instant beachy waves body and volume for effortless lasting tussled look without making hair heavy sticky or dry and again the same thing as the other products the key ingredient is all of the propolis from the bee garden so I'm excited to try this out and see if it'll just give like a nice kind of textured sort of look without feeling crunchy like the way wave spray does so the next Gizu product that I got I have already tried this one out and I really like it this is their propolis infused polishing primer so with this polishing primer it is a lightweight styling primer which prepares your hair for styling routine it prevents and diminishes frizz reduces drying time and ensures optimal workable hold upon the use of heated styling tools so I think it's kind of similar to the heat protectant spray but this one it's more of kind of like a creamy balm almost sort of thing instead of the other one that's actually just a spray so I have personally used this one for um, also kind of like heat protectant before I've been styling my hair but then I've used it to kind of get rid of some flyaways and stuff and just as kind of a, a last finish to help make my hair a little bit shinier so I think that this is a really interesting product I've only used it like twice now I think I like how versatile it is in the sense that like you can use it for different reasons and different things. But yeah, I'm excited to keep using this, testing it out, seeing how I like it and how it compares to the other products from the line. Finally, the last thing up from the Gizu line, this is their signature product. This is their honey infused hair oil. So I opted to get the 1.7 ounce bottle just to see like how I liked it. 
Since my hair is more fine, I tend to kind of like be a little bit weary of using hair oils because sometimes when I use a hair oil, it can make my hair look more greasy and just like, it just, it's just not a cute look. So when the line was coming out at Sephora, she had been doing some Q and A's on Instagram. And actually one of the questions that came up was for people with fine hair, like what product that they should use. And they actually recommended using the hair oil. So I was like, well, Maybe I'll try it, see how I like it, and I actually really, really like it. I've only used it a small handful of times, like maybe four or five times, but I do find that it doesn't weigh my hair down. And like with other oils, I find the oils kind of just like sit on my hair and it has this like greasy kind of wet look that I don't really want. I do feel like this one absorbs into my hair and actually just like nourishes it and helps it feel like a little bit more nourished and moisturized. So I'm looking forward to continuing trying this out and I mean hopefully it can be a good like hair oil that I just stick with this one because like I said I haven't really found one that I'm dying for right now I've been using the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil and I do like it but again I find like if I use too much it's just it's my hair looks too greasy so um, I'm excited to kind of keep testing this one out and see how I feel about it and I promise that was the last of the Gizu line but I'm looking forward if you want to see more like in-depth reviews on that once I do try out the products let me know in the comments down below I'd be happy to do one of those at some point all right so the next item is also another hair item that I got this is the way dry shampoo collaboration with Biredo Biredo I'm not really sure how to pronounce it um, but this was a limited edition kind of dry shampoo that they came out it basically just has the fragrance from this Mojave ghost um, scent from the perfume company normally I use just Batiste dry shampoo and I am obsessed with it I I will always use it, it will always be in my bathroom. It's like a really, really amazing under $10 drugstore find um, for dry shampoo, so I recommend that if you haven't tried it out. But what I have been really liking this one for is for going out, like if I'm gonna go out for dinner or something, or if I'm just gonna be out and I need some dry shampoo, I love using this because it has the dry shampoo, but it also has the nice like fragrance effect with it so it makes my hair smell really good and I do also have this perfume so I just feel like it totally amplifies everything so like my hair will smell like it then I'll have the perfume and it's just like all smelling like this Mojave ghost scent and it is so so delicious as a dry shampoo it does perform really well I like it I will say the scent of it it doesn't it's not long-lasting so if you're looking for something to like be a long-lasting kind of scent or perfume on your hair this isn't it but this will give it a nice scent for like just I don't know I think it may be like a couple hours is how long I found it lasting but it does the job with the dry shampoo and everything it's not my holy grail but I'm glad that I got it and it's nice to have for like special occasions like if I'm going out and I just want to you know have a little more special spruce up with my hair instead of just the regular dry shampoo so the next item that I got is this brush from hourglass so this is the hourglass I believe it's like the vanish concealer brush I don't even have the box because I've just been using it since I bought it and I love this so hourglass is a really amazing brand it is high-end luxury but I really like that all of their products and everything is vegan cruelty free free this brush is really great just for getting in that like under eye kind of area I have the other brush the vanish foundation brush D like that brush is a holy grail foundation brush it works so so amazing for like buffing in foundation whether it's like stick or cream or liquid or whatever um, so I knew I wanted to try this out because the other one let me go get it actually and I'll show you the difference. So here is the other brush that came before it. I think again, this is like the Vanish foundation brush is maybe what it's called, but it is just such an amazing like buffing brush and everything for foundation. And it is good, like it does get kind of up here in the under eye area, but this one is a little bit more smaller and precise. So I just wanted to try it out since I knew I love this one so much. And this one did not fail me at all. I am so in love with all of the hourglass brushes that I. I have gotten up until now and it's definitely a brand that I'll keep buying over and over like I really truly love their products so much it's one of those things where like yes it is pricier but in my opinion you get what you pay for so the quality is like can't be beat. The next item that I got here, this is just a little kind of travel spray perfume. So this is from Armani. This is their C, I think, Passione or something. 
Passion uh, fragrance. I have the original C perfume and I really really like it. I really like that Sephora has these like smaller travel sizes because honestly like I like to have a bunch of different fragrances that I want to try out and fragrances don't necessarily have like a super long shelf life so I have like big bottles of the ones that I use all the time but the other ones that I just want to try out I like getting these smaller kind of travel ones just to see like do I like the scent how long does it wear so that's just like a little Sephora fragrance hack that I like to use all right next products that I got were some brow things from benefit so I have three Three different things here that I have not tried before. These two are the same thing, just different colors. So this is the Brow Microfilling Pen. Here's how the strokes look from the tip. So if you can see, it has like these little indentations here. So it's supposed to give this sort of micro brow filling sort of effect. I kind of tried one of the pens and wasn't dying for it but sometimes with brow stuff it takes me a couple of times to like get the hang of how it works especially with this one that it's like a different sort of um application process but i got these in the colors deep brown and medium brown so i'll keep kind of trying to work with it to see if i like it if i don't i will definitely throw that in like some update video or something if you want to see that at first i was like i i don't really know so these are kind of like maybe we'll see the other brow product that i got from benefit which by the way i love benefits brow products like it's definitely super super high quality but this is the other benefit product that i got this is their 24 hour brow setter i think it's just like a simple brow gel i got this product in the mini size with my apartment new york city apartment not a lot of storage and also just like trying out new products i like to get things in like mini or travel size just to see if I like them first and it's also a lot more cost effective for me if I'm trying out a product like it saves space obviously but in the long run too like if I don't like something then I'm not spending like an exorbitant amount on something it's just like a mini travel size so yeah so this is just like a brow setter I've heard really good things about this I've actually been wanting to get it for a while and every time Sephora has a sale I just forget about it so yeah I'm excited to try this out see how it holds up with some of the other brow gels I have but I've heard good things so looking forward to trying it the next thing that I got is one new thing and one trying out thing so I got these two set of lashes these are the Lily lashes in light mink and I got the Miami light and goddess so I have used goddess before and I really really like the shape of these lashes the Miami light are a new set that I was trying out so I've actually worn them in a couple of my past videos and I do really like them they are a lot more full than the goddess I would say the goddess gives a nice kind of natural effect with the lashes um, it also has kind of more of like a wing sort of effect I would say the Miami light these are definitely more like fuller lashes not as much of a kind of cat eye effect these are really good for like going out like when you want to do everything up put the lashes on and everything these are really good for that where the goddess I find these to be more like versatile that I can wear these during the daytime and they don't look too much but I can also wear them at nighttime with a little bit more eye makeup eyeliner the whole thing they also look really great then so um, I think that the goddess ones these are gonna be a pair that I just continue to buy over and over the Miami light I think maybe I'll end up getting another pair at some point, but um, I'm glad that I got them at least just to try them out. I definitely recommend trying out this brand too if you haven't at Sephora. I really, really like them so far and probably will start to pick up other ones just to try them out too. So the last few items that I'm going to talk about are all kind of replenishing things that I'm just getting new replacements from things that ran out. This is the first thing that I had to replace. So if you saw my last video that I posted about my skincare routine, you have probably already seen this. This is the Youth to the People Superfood Cleanser. I really, really love this cleanser. Not only is it part of the Sephora Clean Beauty section, but I just find that it is really, really nice on my skin as a good second wash for my like double step cleansing. So yeah, I had to replace the one because the other one that I had ran out. The other thing that I'm replacing are these. This is the Shiseido Facial Cottons that I use. These are just a really nice kind of luxurious facial cotton. I use these to apply my toner. And 
like I mentioned in the skincare video with these, I actually end up cutting them in half so I get double the use out of it. This pack has 40, but for me it's really 80. And yeah, I just really like these. It's a nice like high quality facial cotton to use if you need to put toner on your face. Also comically, in the last video, I talked about using this product and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna buy it again. And I did. So this is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream Moisturizer. Opted again to get it in the mini travel size. Reason again, number one, space. Number two, I have a ton of different moisturizers and I like testing different things out. So I like having the option that I have this available if I want to use it, but I didn't want to splurge on the really big one because it's not something that I grab for every single day. I have other moisturizers that are like my absolute go-tos I get every single day, but I still wanted to have this on hand so I opted for the mini size so at least I have it and I know that I can use it if I want it especially now that winter is coming up and my skin does tend to get a little bit more dry this is a really nice moisturizer just to use to like keep everything at bay all the moisture retention everything so yes I do really like this one and the last item for the haul is this little baby this is the tan Lux the butter lotion I mentioned this actually in another video that I was talking about my summer beauty favorites and this is one of them so this is just another replenishing item in there like I said in that video I love this as a great like kind of gradual self tanner it doesn't smell bad and it also has this really pretty kind of like sheen to it so it's it gives me like a nice glow when I have it on that I can like wear it out and go run errands or go do whatever out on the street and I don't look weird like I have self tanner on you know it's just like a nice kind of gradual lotion that it looks really pretty so now that we are reaching the cold months. I will be probably doing my tanning routine a little bit more often. So yeah, I just had to get a replacement of this because I really, really love this tanning lotion. So that wraps it up for all of the products that I got in this Sephora haul. Let me know if you want any other updated reviews on any of the things I talked about or have any questions. Leave those in the comments down below. As usual, everything that I talked about in this video is linked down in the description box down below. So if you want to check out any of these products, then make sure to check out the description box as I have everything down there. Thank you so much again for watching this video again if you haven't yet please subscribe to my channel thank you for liking commenting sharing and subscribing and i will see you in the next video